I spent the past week flipping items on Facebook Marketplace and made over $1,000. Now, if you wanna see exactly how I did it, including the items I actually flipped, then keep watching the video. So I started off day one very strong and bought four items to flip. So item number one was a Wii console, a couple controllers, and some games. Now I got all of that for $60 off of Marketplace. And a couple days later, I ended up selling just the Wii uh, controllers and then three games that weren't really worth anything for $70. Then I sold two Guitar Hero games that came with it for $30 separate, and then three Just Dance games for another $10 which left us at a $50 profit for flip number one. So the second item I bought was actually on Craigslist, which is pretty weird because there's usually nothing good on Craigslist, but this was actually a really good flip. So basically it was a bunch of weights for $250 that came with two 55 pound dumbbells, two 25 pound dumbbells, two 20 pound dumbbells, and then an Olympic barbell, a smaller Olympic barbell, and then a bunch of weight plates and also a 25 pound kettlebell. So the 200 pounds in dumbbell weights, I actually sold for a dollar pounds. So that was $200 right there. The barbell, the smaller barbell, and then all the weight plates, I sold for a total of $300. And the kettlebell, I got an additional $25 out of. And so that means the total sale price was $525. Meaning from that flip, we made a huge profit of $275. Now, just as a quick note, the reason that flip was possible is because he was moving out of the house. People don't want to move weights because they're heavy. They don't want to deal with it. They just want them gone quick. And so that's why with weights or furniture or anything big and bulky, you can typically get a pretty good deal out of because a lot of times people just want it gone and they don't want to deal with it. So flip number three was a 2DS with three very important games. So I was able to get that package along with a case and a charger for $140. Now the console itself typically sells in about the $80 range. Now the three games that came with it were Pokemon Ultra Sun, which sells anywhere from the $20 to $30 range, Pokemon Black, which sells about in the $80 range, and then Pokemon Heart Gold, which sells in the $100 range. All those sales prices are based off recent eBay comps. And so I actually have those items up for auction on eBay right now. They've got a couple days left, but on an extremely conservative estimate, we'll get at least $250 for that set. So with $140 uh, ticket price, that means we made $110 on that flip. Now it'll actually probably be more than that because even at the lowest sale price on eBay, I'd get about 280, but because they haven't sold yet, I do wanna be conservative. Okay, so for the fourth and final purchase of day one, I got a 3DS and game combo or bundle for $150. Now, I actually didn't know this when I bought that, but that DS is a Black Friday edition. And so those typically, typically sell just a DS alone for $250 to $300, but it was actually missing uh, the front cap. And so it was worth about $200 and then the games were worth about 50, and so I ended up getting 250 for it on Marketplace. Now, the DS were completely fine, so if that front cap was there, I probably would have got another 50 to $100 out of it, but that's just how it is sometimes, and I'm still really happy with $100 profit. So obviously, day one was extremely successful. Probably part of that had to do with the fact that I hadn't flipped in a long time, and so I was able to find some deals uh, that you know were posted a while back. But after kind of snatching up the deals that were already there, the remaining days I had to wait for ones to come in. And so it kind of started to go downhill a little bit, but we were still able to have some really profitable days. All right, so on day number two, I bought two items to flip. So the first item, or actually they were both weight sets, but the first uh, weight set was basically 245s, 235s, 225s, 210s, 25s, 22 and a halfs. And I got that for $175. And then the second weight set was uh, 435s and 445s, and I got that for $200. So the total cost for those two weight sets was $375. Amount for all of those items, I believe, was around 565 pounds. I also forgot to mention that uh, a seven foot barbell came with both of those sets. So it was like 560 pounds plus two barbells. I ended up selling all that for actually under a dollar a pound at $550. So that brings the total profit from day two 
to $175. So on day three, I actually only had one flip and it was kind of small, but it was a Guitar Hero Aerosmith. It was the game and then the actual guitar and I got that for $40. Now, after I had some fun testing whether or not it actually worked, I ended up selling it for $75. So for day three, we had a $35 profit. Day four was pretty similar, just one really small flip. So this guy had 45 pounds of weight plates for $20, bought them, sold them for a dollar uh, a pound. And so that was a $25 profit there. So on day five, I bought a Nintendo Switch and four game bundle for $200. Now this was the Animal Crossing Edition uh, Switch. Now the Switch alone was pretty much worth that purchase price. So I made my profit with the games and I made $120 on that flip, selling it for $320 on Marketplace. Now on day six, which was actually the final day that I actually bought any items, on day seven, I focused on just meeting people to sell them. But on day six, we got a good flip for another weight set. So essentially I got a full set of a bar and weight plates for $150, uh, which is 245s, 235s, 225s, 210s, 25s, 22 and a halfs. Uh, and then it also came with some Olympic uh, dumbbell holders. And then it also came with uh, two extra 25 pound weights. For that weight set and the dumbbell holders, I got 300. And then I also got an extra 50 for those two 25 pound weights, bringing that total profit to $200. So that brings the total profit from the week to $1,030. Now, I just wanna say really quickly that this is completely replicable. Any of you guys can do this. It's just a matter of doing the research to figure out what things sell for, and then constantly being on Facebook and trying to find deals. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.